Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add fractions with common denominators. We're going to learn how to add and to subtract fractions with common denominators. What do we mean by common denominators? We're talking about the number down the bottom under the fraction bar. That is called the denominator. Common denominators meaning that the denominators are the same. They are the same here, they are the same, and they are the same. Once we have common denominators, we can actually add or subtract fractions. That is the rule. We can only add or subtract fractions when we have common denominators. Remember that all the time. Let's see how it's done. In this case here, we have 4 over 7 plus 2 over 7. Well, we can notice that the denominators are common. We have common denominators. That means we can add the fractions. When we add the fractions, we only add the numerator, the number up on top. So we add the numerator, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 over 7, we only add the numerator as you can see. We ask ourselves, can we simplify? The answer in this case is no, then this is our answer in full. 6, uh, six over 7 is the full answer for 4 over 7 plus 2 over 7. So common denominators, meaning the denominators are the same, that means we can add or subtract the fractions. In this case, 4 over 7 plus 2 over 7, 4 plus 2, 6 over 7. Looking at this example, 3 over 10 plus 1 over 10. Okay, do we have common denominators? Well, yes we do. 10 and 10 are the denominators. It's a common denominator. Let's start adding. 3 plus 1, 4 over 10. So our answer here is 4 over 10. Hang on, can we simplify? Well, we can tell that yes we can. How do we know? We look for the HCF. We learned in an earlier lesson that we look for the HCF, the highest common factor. In this fraction we notice the highest common factor is 2. So we divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. So our final answer will be 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So our final answer for 3 tenths plus 1 tenth is 2 over 5. Remember, very important, very critical. We look, we ask ourselves, can we simplify here? Yes, we noticed we can simplify. We must simplify to get our full marks. This example, 5 over 8, take away 1 over 8. We mentioned that addition and subtraction follow the same rule. We look for common denominators. Yes, they're common. We can now subtract. 5 take away 1 is 4 over 8. Well, that's our answer, but is it simplified? No, we need to simplify it further. 4 over 8, we look for the HCF. In this case, we know the HCF is 4. So the highest common factor, the highest common factor in 4 and 8 is 4. 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 8 twice. Our answer is 1 half. That is the correct answer. You're going to lose marks if you keep it like that. You may even get it wrong. You must simplify all the way to the end. Here we have 15 over 19. Take away 3 over 19. Are they common denominators? First thing we look for, yes they are. Let's go. Now we can simply simplify it and we can subtract. 15 take away 3. 12. And 19 is our denominator. 12 over 19 is our final answer. We can't simplify it any further. There is no highest common factor. 12 over 19 is complete. This is our answer in full. This way we'll get our marks without any problem. We'll get them all right. Remember, we look for common denominators when we're adding and subtracting fractions.